Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video I want to speak about the Docker Swarm and how you can update a version of uh, a running um, stack uh, a service. And uh, in this video we want to deploy a Redis a 3.06 and then we will later update for a 5.08. So let's begin. The first we want to do is to say Docker to do Docker service create and then we need the replicate we need three of those and the name should be redis and I want to say redis 306 let's deploy the redis and it's taking a little time then we have deployed three services for redis When this is ready, we want to see about the service. So do Docker service ls, and you can see we have uh, the Redis name here. So let's copy this and say to do Docker service ps, and then Redis, and you can see all the three is uh, replicates one of the running on the manager two, and then we have one for the worker for Docker swarm worker one, and one for Docker swarm worker three. That's perfect, and we can see which image we're running here, the 306, and that's perfect because that's what we have created. So now we want to update an image. So let's go in. Uh, yeah, I think we want a new one here. I want to say, I want to go for my uh, here, and then we, yeah, that's fine. CLS clear and then you say watch every second so do Docker service PS um, Redis that's mean you can see up here we are watching and every second it's updating the, the site here so let's running the update command here and say so do Docker service update and then the image and we want to update for uh, Redis um, 5.0 and then it should go in for the Redis and then it's taking a little time here you can see and if you can see up here we have the 508 and when it's uh, done it will shut down the 306 and it's taking a little time and then we deploy it for the next one and we will repeat this until it's done and when it's done we can just for fun going back here it's still uh, still repairing so you can see running race shutting down running and running and i think it's taking a little time here and then it's done to to be done it's almost done here and verified everything is running well so that's perfect and we are back and that is how you can update a, a single service from one image to an, an other image. But if you have something like uh, we have uh, 10 images and we want to deploy that uh, first, it should be taking the 10 seconds to, uh, to the delay. And then every time we confirm our image is OK, then we roll out the next uh, every 10 seconds. Then you can basically do it in the same way here. I will roll it back for 306 and uh, then we, we only need to put up here to say update delay and we want to say five seconds let's say we want this and I'm going back here and can say it's going five seconds and then we roll it back and from this is running okay it will take around five seconds again and then we will shut down it's, it's the Redis 3 here it's going down and up and running and then we give it a five seconds or something like that and then we will shut it down it's coming here so that's perfect so that's how you can update a running um, a service with the image if you have replicates it's just it's pulling over the uh, over there if something is going back it will stop so you can completely sure and safely use this command 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoy and you learn how you can update a running service from one image to another image so you can change the versions. And if you have any questions, please make it the uh, comments below. I really hope you want to subscribe my channel here and help me to, to reach the, the subscriber count. And remember to add this video for your own playlist and share with your friends and yeah, give a like. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye.